Brothers. Played Coda. What? What are you talking about? Circuit of the Americas, the outdoor, the track in Austin. They had a big circuit giant of Coda. I, I, I thought said Coda, like Zeppelin. I thought you said Coda, <laughs> like Zeppelin. That's uh, same Coda, Coda, whatever. Woulda, coulda, shoulda. Yeah, kind of. But tomato, they, tomato? they had in this weather they had a 80s band, and the, most of the 80s bands are at least five or ten years older than we are. True. Yes. And they're out playing music in this heat in an outside triple event. digits yeah. I, I wearing can't. wearing the same crap they wore back in the 80s talk about smelling like onions <laughs> oh can you have looked at them though man oh just, i mean like what do you mean neil oh dude they're and, just who's the what's the lover boy guy uh mike reno yeah he's another one it just it just didn't age well uh have what you, axel rose Dude, I'm telling you. And he's working more now than he did before. But he, how many bands is he singing with now? Three? Three yeah, big yeah, bands. Yeah, yeah. And um, um, have you heard Phil Collins lately? No. Sounds great, but it sounds like a really old man singing. Well, he's a. <laughs> 80s he's, Phil Collins. He's fucking, old. He's, he's fucking old, man. <laughs> I know. That's what I'm saying. He, he, but you he, know what? Sounds good, but it sounds like a really old man singing Phil Collins. Well, here's stuff. the thing. It is, sound like is, Phil is, Collins is, singing here, Phil here, Studio. Here, here's the thing. I, there's the, so get out of my yard. <laughs> there's some. Uh, what was I watching? I was watching. I'm, I'm a huge fan of Zebra, the band. And uh, Zebra Winger Stinger. I was behind the door. Yeah. Fixing. So they they were Louisiana based uh, uh, rock band 80s, and when they came out, I was man. The guy could sing, the guy could sing, but it was like he could sing in a normal to falsetto, but he, he was really smooth at it. And there, I was on YouTube and I was watching some of the concerts, and they're still having concerts, you know, up at like recently as twenty twenty, I think well, it that's was. That's like going to a fish concert or the White Stripes or something. But he, but there's, I mean, he's every bit in his mid 60s you know at least they just keep, and keep they're but playing, but keep his his you know it goes from his normal voice to falsetto you know it's like it used to be really smooth but there's like a shh and then it's like boom it's there's that, that auto tune well no <laughs> I, it, <laughs> oh, the he, poor guy he has just, to because the thing he, is the thing is is like as you get older you can't hit you can't play like you used to. You can't hit all, especially if you're a singer, man. It can be very, very, very Your voice changes. critical. You know, yeah. David your nuts drop just a little bit further. David Coverdale. Yeah, he can't hit those high notes anymore, so he doesn't. I was, I would, okay. You've heard I'm a lumberjack baby, right? Jackal. Mm-hmm. Mm. You know he owns a bar in Sturgis. Okay. And sings all the he he can't he just can't hit those. He tries. And he's got most of the. But he and owns I, the bar. So. Here's the, here's he the thing. The, yeah, I, exactly those are right. those are actually. It's kind of sad though. I mean, they do it. People come out, and it's like, I understand you're what being doing. nostalgic, wanting to listen to them. But yeah, but I mean, if, if you got a small bar and, and it, okay, if you got a small bar and that's your thing, and people come out to your small bar to hear you try to scream that out, okay, that's great. But don't go on tour, charging a. a you know, thousand dollars a seat. Yeah, and then and then, and then you're playing and, and to you, a backing track, and then you're playing to the <laughs> black backing track, and everybody's like just the age of your grandchild in your band, and you can't. It doesn't sound like it's like yeah. what song here, is this? Here, here's where I say you're wrong. Uh oh. Oh, and you're always right. Okay. Well, yeah, I am. Wait till I say this, and you'll believe me. <laughs> okay. Pe people are paying the money. So why wouldn't you go do it? Yeah, and you like, don't even have to perform. Well, Fog hats on tour, and the and only person not, from Fog are hats still original paying, is one of the roadies. They're still paying the money. Yeah. Why I wouldn't it, you do it? I think it's. He doesn't want to admit it. I know it. Well, you're, you're right. right. Okay. You are right. <laughs> that's twice. I got. I, that's I've got it. Why? I've got to admit it. You're right because, and that's what they do. But I think that. That is just the integrity to, of it. The, well, the thing is, it's not a, it's, it's the integrity of it, but you're you're changing like the name. That name had a 
that it, it was meant like something. it meant something. You heard it, but then you got somebody else playing it and singing it, and it sounds like somebody else. It sounds shitty. It's like you've just well, def- defaced the whole there's a, there's sanctity a few of bands that bands that have found singers labels. that Ario Speedwagon. Uh, God dang it, the Lambert is singing for him now. Queen. Queen. Um, but that's what you do. A- I mean, A-C-D-C, unfortunately, they, they Freddie Mercury guys. had to die. Yeah. <laughs> For a queen to, you know, find, get, get this younger guy that can hit those notes. Well, the kid that's singing for Ario Speedwagon is this little Filipino former. That Journey. No, it was with Journey. Journey, so Journey. That, Journey so I went and saw Journey and they, that guy. He knocks it out. Pineda, what's his name? Yeah, he's, he's fucking good. Yeah, and he, well, he there's did, just too much inner there, turmoil going here, on with that crazy band. And then, you know, he sings it really good. The other band sticks. So uh, Dennis DeYoung is not with them. Mm-hmm. Uh, they have a guy that it, he sounds just like Dennis DeYoung. Uh, yeah, but all of these bands, they've all gone through different incarnations. Even before, there was somebody before Dennis DeYoung, right? And the really, the really smart bands would be a band and hire a lead singer. And when it came, when it came time. Sorry, dude. Your time. You're you're gonna retire. Yeah. I know we're still in, well, we're still playing, but so we're gonna retire you a, because you here, can't hit that note anymore. So here's a good here's here's a good example. Leonard Skinner. Mm-hmm. I saw Leonard Skinner the week before the last original member died. Post, bu- post airplane crashing into bus. No, no, no. This is just oh, recently, yeah, at, recently the, yeah. at the rodeo. They they played here. Who was the uh, which, which well, one? Well, that was the, the joke one? I was making with Fog. Yeah, he, no he was he was a guitar player. Whatever. I forget his name, but he he was. Was he, he in Thirty Eight the... Special? No. Black hair. No, okay, no, 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 no. Uh, no, uh, he was the last original member of Leonard Skinner. Mm-hmm. He died the week. But uh, Leonard week... Skinner's still going. Yeah. Yeah, that's genius. Those Van Zants live forever. Eagles. The Eagles. They did, well, mean, they lost their they, they bought, lost the bass player. Yeah, but but, but but here and Glenn Frey. There's there's this thing about the name. You know, I guess I'm I guess the, I'm on the fence about it because I think there, there's a name and they're like like Leonard Skinner's still going, but there's no original members in Leonard Skinner. It's only a legacy of the people. That yeah. was associated and related to. Just go to. see a cover band. Go see a tribute band. Right. What's right. The difference? Now the the thing is the other thing is is, is way less expensive. It's it's when you have those like I was saying before those bands that are playing and the performers come out and they're doing it and it sounds epically horrible. It's like, dude, don't you know? End Please on a high stop. note. Yeah, not, yeah. not a little sense, but your your name is in in lights, and it will forever be. Don't bring it down yeah, to. Who, who do you know has done that? Uh, well, I don't know. In my, my, the police did it. Yeah, they quit after the synchronicity tour. The, the Stones can't. I saw I them. On, I saw on the. Re, I saw sticks on the. Uh, not sticks. The uh, police. police. When they did their uh, reunion tour, I was in Japan, uh-huh. and I, I saw them, and I thought they were really good. Yeah, they're still good. Yeah, but but the thing they, is, is, they disbanded on top, and now they've had some get but the, get but, back together. But that's so. But that's not the REM did it. Those those groups that can go out. Uh, REM they did the day, the. David, which Carradine choked himself to death? God damn it, I ruined the jokes. Son asphyxiation. <laughs> Erotical hung, hung, asphyxiation. Hung himself in a closet in Thailand, jerking off. So there's, a, there's some bands that that can, like, Police is a good example, that can go out and, because those guys are extremely talented. And they have a sound like no others. They, they can take, they can take, take off and then come back a decade later and do the same thing because they're 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 proficient they're good they're unique and they have a signature there's bands that and um i'm trying to think now but there's a time but you like you're, it's you're a time talking, to like, stop you're talking like fog hat fog hat was another was one of those bands fog hat to me it Fog Hat, Three Dog Night. They had, Fog Hat had a really good sound. And when the singer was gone 
Even when the singer was alive in his later years, I thought Foghat was gone, to be honest. And after he was gone, the sound is gone. Grateful Dead is one that won't quit. They just keep playing that same old time. It's like going to a fish concert. Fish trucking. <sighs> no, that's Deep Purple. Oh. They were just, they were just, they were just the trucking. Joke. I got the joke. It was it just, please stop. <laughs> um, There you go. But it was funny because my dad always thought uh, the Grateful Dead was like a, a heavy metal band. She, I don't think he's ever heard them because I because I I listen I was listening to Iron Maiden and it was a song called Murders in the Rue Morgue. And anyways, we were at the school and you know talking with the band the teachers the band directors and uh, he says yeah all he wants to play is Murders in the Rue Morgue and it's like it sounds almost like the Grateful Dead and it, they were like. The, they because they're music people and they you know they knew who the Grateful Dead was they probably didn't know what Iron Maiden was but it was just the two together it's like they didn't line up because it's a heavy didn't metal compute heavy metal with a fucking hippie folk it's, music it sounds heavy Grateful Dead yeah my dad was like I was like oh man I'll be all right do 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 they suck. They just suck. Well, and and there's a few peop few artists. Well, Johnny Cash was one that he was singing up to the day he croaked. Well, there's a and different he, thing though. I'm talking about we're talking about bands, right? But yeah. you know, I mean, Johnny Cash did some interesting stuff there in the end when he was doing Metallica and. Oh, he's oh, doing a crap that he was doing. Nine inch nails. Nine inch nails, and I'm telling you that with that <coughs> song but, uh, was it nine inch nails? The one he's talking about put he put he did a couple in, of good covers, and I was like, man, there's there was so much. he lived that, <laughs> yeah. But the thing was, is the the I think that was probably the he capitalized on something because he was at that point he was an old man. Yeah, yeah, it's like getting. It's like singing with Dolly Parton now. A very old man. Yeah, he was really old, and you know, in he used that to reinvent something that's already been done. I thought that was amazing. Yeah. Well, he was able to pull it off, which a lot of people. I'll, I'll tell you what's been. interesting is people like Willie Nelson. All right. Yep. Who, 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 he sounded like shit singing. In his twenties, and he sounds exactly the same today. Singing in his early hundreds, eighties, nineties, whatever he is. Yeah, <clears throat> but he's, he's good. A, he's already <laughs> embalmed. His his weed is so tough it embalmed him already. Just yeah. saying. And Waylon Jennings, how many offspring that that keep singing and trying to keep up with their dads? Well, Waylon, who Waylon and Waylon Willie, Shooter. they both they both had sons, right? That that yeah. What what was that movie? The Ranch with uh, uh, um, the one with Kelso and uh, yeah yeah yeah. T uh, what's his name? Kelso. Sam Elliott. Yeah 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 yeah. But the 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 I thought that was Hank the song. Williams. Mama don't let your babies grow up to be cowboys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's Willie Nelson's son and Waylon son. And if shooter. I'm correct. Well, well, there's been anyway. a deal on YouTube lately where they're. It's all the great grandchildren of all of these people are pairing up, so, singing, singing. So, who, so that I watched one uh, a while back, and I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's a grandchild or what. Is Glenn Campbell's uh, um, illegitimate love child? I don't know. She's a really nice looking chick, but she can, and she can sing. She's play, singing one of his songs, you know, uh, Wichita Lyman or something like that. Is this the child from The Hooker that we're not talking about? Oh no, wait. dude, I have no I'm idea. <laughs> You letting the cat spoiler sorry. alert. You letting I'm the cat sorry. out of the bag. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> no, she it's she's really good, but and it's like Lyman of the county. Lyman of the county, maybe that's what it is. Yeah. Well, I got an interesting story about that that song. Oh, do tell that, that song. A, yeah, it's, so that's a, that's a really really good. Uh, it's got a good beat, so he could keep up with it. No. All right, we're going to go on to the next. <laughs> what song are you talking about? It's the Wichita Lyman. I don't know the song. I think it's the Lyman. Of the, it may be. The Lyman of the County? I thought it was called Coward of the County. 
That's no, that's Kenny Rogers. That's a different. Okay, guy. I don't know. I'm just country stuff. All sounds all like anyway. I don't know country stuff. No. I know a couple of country artists that I like, and that's about. Most it. modern country is just Not rap country. music for white people that are scared of black people. <laughs> I've got I've got a freaking computer right here. Uh, a Googler. Uh, the Wichita lineman. You win. You're right. You know everything. I got my <laughs> guessing, so. You just fucking threw him off. He's either on a... He's either, Wichita line man. Uh, yeah, what does that mean? He works... He's either on the railroad or he's on a fucking... Power pole. Power, power pole. pole. I don't wow. know. But the thing about the song... He's on the pole, daddy. This, either way, he's stringing out metal. So we were... We were uh, the end of my career, we were doing this. Holiday concerts were always just like epically miserable because it's just like the biggest grandest most miserable dog and pony show you can ever think of you dress to the nines having to deal with a bunch of people that should not doing be. rehearsal right after rehearsal and you know it's like it's always the same shit you know and it's just it sucks there was a guy uh the bass player I was with and he he young much much younger than me and i was like but he was he was a very very he he understood good music and stuff, and I said, "Hey, I had some I had some Bose headphones, you know, noise canceling." And everybody's like, "You got sixty people on stage, sitting there noodling on their horn. Everybody's playing Is that code for something. Yeah, everybody's just playing a fucking just just playing. <laughs> they were in the sub. <laughs> they're they were all in. They were all just playing something different. So it's like all of this chaos, and." Can you riff with cacophony. brass instruments? Huh? Yeah, cacophony is a good word. So they're word. they're all just kind of warming up, you know. And it's every you, know, you get sixty people just playing their freaking instrument, and they're playing random shit. Nobody's playing anything that's the same. And Juan, the guy next to me, he's like, "Oh my god!" He I could see it because I was I was like, "Okay, I know what he's going through." I said, "Here, dude, put these on. Do not take them off. I want you to listen to the entire song." And then, because we were getting ready to to start a rehearsal, and uh, I played it for him, and what the fuck? And he yeah. immediately, it was like just quiet, you know. And it's got this, you know, this sound, and it was like he was just like, holy fuck kind of brought him back to zen so i'm telling you the stuff that he did is really good john denver was doing a really good job till he nosed into the bay yeah if he'd pulled up on that yoke maybe he'd pull back a little bit so is it okay so lineman is that a electrician or a railroad man i think that's an electrician i have no idea he's a lineman for the county that didn't i don't know i don't know maybe you hear me say that I'm still on the line, so I guess he is. No, it doesn't count because you already had two affirmatives. So you, now you're now you're down to one affirmative. All right. If you want a relaxing moment, listen to that song. You'll be like. And smell the onions. <laughs> Smells like onions. Who's that? Earl Campbell. Glenn. <laughs> oh. Oh, you're a dick. <laughs> Dude, that was just wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but he's scared of rattlesnakes. <laughs> and Herschel Walker. Oh, my God. You guys are fucking. Name 10 things about Glenn Campbell that nobody knows. Mm. I, he smells like be, roses. Who was the, he was living or dating one of the, living with or dating one of the, one of the, was it Tanya Tucker? Now, is this Glenn Campbell or Bob Denver? Glenn Campbell. Glenn Campbell. Glenn Campbell. Bob Denver wasn't sleeping with Tanya Tucker. Glenn Campbell was. And he was also beating the hell out of her. I just That was something the guys used to do. I don't understand. It's not that. the country road guy. Take me. No, home. that's that's uh, that's Denver. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was John Denver. He was on Gilligan's Island. Here's something about Glenn Campbell that, that most Denver? people don't know. That guy can play. He is an amazing guitarist. guitarist. He is yeah. amazing. Yep. Jerry Reed That's, was too, uh, apparently. Jerry, Jerry, Jerry Reed, yeah, he was Jerry Reed. He was 
definitely amazing guitar player. It's the and I was laughing at the and Glenn Campbell to Cavett Bob, music. Bob mm-hmm. Skaggs and uh, goddamn the guy that played the jerk. Who the Steve oh, Martin. Steve, Steve Martin. Martin. He's banjo. got so he does. He's a banjo he's, player. He's yeah, got his, him. Him and those guys were doing that dueling banjos together. And dude, he's, he's all over it. Steve oh yeah, he's a he's a he's player. a talented he's talented player, and um, shit, I don't even know. There's there's so many underrated musicians that people take for granted. You know, you know, it's like Jerry Reed is one of them. I I think especially for everyday person because they don't realize he can the guy can really really play and if you listen to it all that chicken picking stuff it's really good but and Roy he Clark can make up he one. can Roy make Clark was amazing too he could make the up Spanish songs Mico stuff oh. he could create songs like that so you Prince s- was an amazing guitarist he was amazing only he was it was a, a midget, one of the. So, what was amazing about Prince? And the only reason why I asked that because, I, I think he was a really ta- he was a talented person, but I don't know what he was in terms of his playing. Was he good at playing the guitar? guitar he had a great ear. He could fit in anything, any genre. Go ask Eric Clapton, who his favorite guitarist is. Yeah. Eric Clapton, his favorite guitarist was Prince. Wow. He was if you if you can go find his stuff out there, he's got some. He is good. Go the uh, where where Tom Petty and that group of guys was doing while my guitar gently weep with for uh, some tribute to George Harrison and Prince is in there playing the guitar. Oh my God! Traveling Wilburys. Was that who the group? No, it's Tom Petty. Well, Tom no. Petty was in the Traveling Wilburys with Roy Orbison and Bob Dylan. Tom Petty and George Harrison was in George it too. Harrison, Roy Orbison, and the who's the guy from ELO? Uh, I I don't know, but I know who you're talking about. They're the traveling Wilburys, super group. Yeah, the damn Yankees is a super group. Damn Yankees is a super group. Tommy Shaw, Ted Nugent, the Nuge. Jack Blades, and that drummer. <laughs> and the, and who's the that, drummer who is that drummer? <laughs> I don't know. That's a thing. You Jack Blades. Who's Jack Blades? What? Night Ranger. Night, Night Ranger. Ranger. Yes. <clears throat> And Sammy Hagar. Neil, Neil Sammy Sean? Hagar's been in a lot of super groups, if y'all don't know it. I He's mean, a, man, when he was in H S A S. You remember that? Hagar, Peter Sean, Sean and Anderson and Shreves. Yeah. Mm, I've like heard remember the name, but I don't remember. Sammy uh, Hagar, Neil Sean. Um I'm forgetting now. I've never Hager, I, I, Sean, I remember, remember hearing the name, but never heard anyway. never heard the group. H S A S? Yeah. Never heard. I'm sure you heard something you just didn't realize it back in the 80s in high school. Well, there's probably a period that there's a period. Sammy Hagar's rocking it now. He's holding his own. He's he's still hitting the notes and everything. Yeah, and he's still taking care of business. Taking taking care of business. That was that was that was Bachman Bachman Turner Overdrive. Yeah. (laughs) What are we playing? Name that tune now. Name that band. I didn't. You guys started a game and didn't let me know. So just fine yeah it started about <laughs> 23 minutes ago fine i'm not gonna play anymore well all right then bye Reed bye. brothers whatever bye felicia Reed brothers, bye. Reed brothers.